So I am a university degree trained journalist and I've used my journalism and writing skills in a lot of different work environments. I did it to provide for myself opportunities and what I did it most was not in Japan teaching writing skills, which I did. It wasn't when I came back and worked in corporate communications for manufacturing of my state, which I did. It was really when I started to produce newsletters for my business, both for my Japanese language school and for my marketing programs. But I also did something for the state, which was unusual. I was the first person with my spouse and significant other and son to produce an all Japanese newsletter called Indie Japan Net, is what we called it if I remember, for three years for our state. What we found was it was difficult to find Japanese business owners who wanted to promote their business in it, but we still did. We did have the marvelous opportunity to interv interview a Indy 500 car driver because of our social capabilities. We ran into him and his great wife, I believe it was, or girlfriend possibly, at the time, in a business that served Japanese people. Now, I haven't been to One World Market in a long time, and I'm very aware that that particular marketplace, as long as a couple of the restaurants in Indianapolis, are run by a religious organization. And they have a mix of Japanese people and their other Asian brides there. But here's what I can tell you about our publication. We were the first to do it, and not necessarily the last to do it, but we pattern our concept a little bit after what we were doing in our community to help those people. But at the same time, we were patterning it after my experience of serving 30 plus JTS, which is Japanese technical staff, of a manufacturing environment. And what they might need to know about, learn about, enjoy about for their own language and their own opportunities in America.